Hi, Spartan Engineers. I'm Jane Ivarian with the Center, and we're going to talk about networking. Specifically, we're going to talk about how you can build a networking strategy using curiosity, some extroversion, and maybe a little bit of who logic. So I've split this session into four parts. Part one, we'll talk about why you should engage in networking. And I'm particularly targeting the non-fans of networking here. Part two, we'll talk about two types of networking. Part three, we'll hone in on slow and steady networking. And I've got some how-to guidance to share with you. And then we'll wrap up with some additional resources to help you with networking. Okay, so why should you engage in networking? Because it's good for you, because I told you to do it. I'm just kidding. There is huge value in talking with people who are farther along in their careers. They have insights they can share, advice. They may be willing to, to mentor you a little bit, particularly if you're talking to Spartans. They know where you are because they've been there. They also may be able to advocate for you. They may be able to get your resume in front of decision makers. They may be able to support your application. Um, they may be able to refer you. You also get the chance if you're networking, you're having conversations. So you get the chance to practice your pitching skills. You usually have the opportunity to share your skills and experiences. Um, and that's really good for you. The more you get to talk about yourself professionally and personally, um, the easier it gets. The other thing is networking has some real long-term benefits for you. So when you start a job after college, you're working at a company, it's really important to internally network. You want to meet decision makers. You want to talk with people who are in other units. You want people to get to know you. We don't advance in our careers in a silo or by ourselves. We do it in a community. So networking is really important for long-term career management and advancement. Okay, so I've nagged you about why this is good for you. Let's talk about the two types of networking. And you can learn more about these two types of networking in chapter eight of Who Logic. Networking breaks down into sort of two uh, areas within this larger hierarchy. There's fast networking, and that has to do with an actual job posting. It's quick. You're looking for some advocacy from someone who works at the company that you just applied to. You're reaching out to them and asking them for a little bit of help. So you're trying to get some human intervention, but it's quick. And then there's slow and steady networking, which is what we're going to focus in on. There's no job posting. There's just a person or people that you're interested in who work at companies you're interested in, or they work in jobs that you're interested in. And the idea here is that you're a little more interested in, an, in a longer term relationship. You're trying to build a mutually valuable relationship. Now, both forms of networking here uh, typically culminate in conversations. So we often call it informational interviewing. Let's learn a little bit more about slow and steady networking. So this is networking that's focused on building relationships. We're targeting people who are working in jobs and or companies that are interesting to you. There's no job posting, or not necessarily. You're seed planting for the future. It really requires a lot of interest and curiosity on your part. And you're also gonna need to communicate. So you might need a little bit of a communication plan. So how do you do this? How do you get started with networking? Well, first you wanna Prepare your self-marketing materials, things like having your resume in good order, your LinkedIn profile, your handshake profile. These things are important because you're going to be talking about yourself. And so knowing yourself professionally and personally is really important. The other thing you got to do to get started here is you need to make a list of companies and jobs of interest to you. And then you want to identify people who are working in those jobs and at those companies that are of interest. And then you start communicating. You start reaching out. 
If people accept your connection request, the idea, the ideal here is that you have an informational interview with them. You meet with them. You have a conversation. And then you start figuring out whether or not you want to build on this relationship. Do you want it to be a longer term relationship? And that's all about converting contacts to supporters and advocates. So people you reach out to, some may ignore you. Some will accept your connection request. And it's that group of people that accept your connection request that you want to try to see if you can build a relationship with them. It's not going to work with everyone, but you're trying to get some supporters, some advocates. Okay, so this initial outreach, you've made your list of companies, jobs of interest, you've identified people. Now you start doing some outreach. Best way to do that is to use LinkedIn. You have a 200 character limit when you make that connection request, short and sweet, just like this message. Hi, I'm an MSU student majoring in electrical engineering. Your background is inspiring and I would welcome an opportunity to connect with you. Thank you and go green. Now let's say they accept your connection request. Now you want to ask for a meeting. You're trying to talk with them. You're trying to get to know them. You want them potentially to know you. So then you ask for a meeting. And this is just a sample uh, message to ask for that meeting. You talk about benefiting from a potential conversation. You'd like to know more about their career path. And then you ask them for a meeting. Okay, let's say they say yes. So now you need to do some meeting prep. You got to spend a little bit of time. What does this person do? How do they do the work they do? What outcomes do they produce? Often you can find a lot of that information on their, on their LinkedIn profile. You may want to spend time uh, doing some research on the company they work for. What does the company do? How do they do the work they do? What outcomes do they produce? If there are specific job types that are of interest to you, you want to do the same thing. You're preparing curiosity questions in advance of that meeting. And when you're in that meeting, because you know yourself very well, you want to find a moment to share your skills and experiences. And then if the vibe is really good during that meeting, you want to make sure you ask for continued interaction. So that's meeting prep. Now, let's say you have this meeting. It's great. The energy is good. This person has offered to help you. Um, they may even make a recommendation for you. They may even offer to mentor you. So after the meeting, you want to send a thank you. If they've given you any advice, implement that advice and let them know you did that. People want to know their time is valued and valuable. And then you also want to plan for how you will continue to build and maintain this relationship. It's not going to be hundreds of people that you do this with. You're going you're gonna to connect and have a good vibe or good energy with just a small group of people. But that small group of people, if they're working at targeted, targeted companies for you, that has the potential to yield really great stuff. Okay, so as you think about communication and building your relationship, managing that relationship, AI can help you a little bit. Like this is just a sample of me using chat GPT to ask it to write me a thank you note for after meeting with my contact. It did a pretty good job. Now I had to edit it. I had to customize it, make it my own, but you can use chat GPT and, you know, or any kind of chat bot to help you with this. We also have lots of message suggestions that we can share with you from our website. So Lots of resources for you. Networking resources on our website. The entire chapter eight from Who Logic is on the website, and that's all about networking, both fast networking and slow and steady networking. We've got message suggestions available for you on our website. It's all available at careers.egr.msu.edu. Happy networking. <laughs>